All right. Uh, the wavelength of light in the beam emitted by the galaxy was 621, right? So it was, it was shorter. The wavelength was shorter. Or the frequency was higher, right? So the wavelength, because we received it as 633 nanometers, right? Okay, but it really was 621 nanometer light, okay? Uh, so what's going on here? What kind of motion does this galaxy have to have such that it stretches out the wavelengths, okay? This is the Doppler effect. Think about it, right? Okay, uh, if you need to think in terms of frequency, this is a higher frequency. It emits a higher frequency than we hear. This is a lower frequency. But I think you played with that app, right? So you know what happens to the wavelength in front and the wavelength behind a moving thing, right? Um, and this is, by the way, this the fact that this is shifted this way. This is called redshift, okay? And this is very important in cosmological in a cosmological sense because most galaxies that we look at um, have a red shift. There are a few exceptions to this, but almost every other one has a red shift. Um, and that has to do with expansion of the universe, all right, and the creation of the universe. Okay, the air between the slits is replaced with water. Calculate the wavelength of the light in the water. If you recall, that's just as simple. This is our, our uh, index of refraction, right? Okay. Um, there's lots of ways to do this, but the simplest way is to just go wavelength divided by n. Or wavelength times the ratio of, of n, okay, n1, n2, right? Understand that as it, as it uh, what slows down as it does, right, as it goes from, from a vacuum, or what is it, is it a vacuum? <laughs> you don't say, we assume it's air, I guess. Right. As, it, as, as, as the waves slow down, the wavelength gets shorter. Okay. So as you, as you go into something, here's your wave fronts, right? If you go to, through a boundary and it's slow, if this is fast, this is slow, these waves get shorter. And it's a bit like cars on the freeway where they slow down, they get closer together. Okay. Assuming that the same number of cars are getting through. Okay. Um, so, so anyway, that's the simplest thing. Just take that 633 divided by 1.33. Uh, and if, and we've done these, right? There's, you can do it the hard way, or you can do it the easy way. State two ways in which the intensity pattern on the screen changes. So this is just like the uh, diffraction lab. As lambda decreases, what does that do? Okay, what does that do to the separation? Now remember, the separation uh, on the screen is lambda d over d, right? So if this gets smaller, what happens to this? Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is, uh, and maybe somebody, maybe there's an obvious thing. I don't get it. You know, you need a better teacher. But the I, I put, by the way, for my second thing was that the intensity pattern gets wetter, which of course brings up the whole notion of is water wet, which I, I feel it is. Okay, I can make a scientific argument for that. Um, but that is not the right answer. That the, the intensity pattern, they didn't put that in the March scheme, but it, I think it's objectively true, right? It would be if you, you know, right? The screen would be wetter, so the, so would the intensity pattern, right? Um, what they say, by the way, is that the, what, the intensity is less. So why, why is it less? I don't know. Maybe because some of it was reflected when it hit the water, but that's derivative. I just don't know. Because water doesn't, I don't know. I mean, it, Post a comment if you if there's some obvious reason that I'm just overlooking that would be true. I don't know. Sorry about that. Don't know why it would be less intense. Kind of makes sense, but you know, I don't know. 